can go from there. I have different books that I can show you, different designs on the wall that I can show you. And uh, I think that's about it. Just, uh, I can't tell anybody who to vote for, but I can tell you who I can vote for. <laughs> and I'm going to vote for Biden. We need to remember that, you know, the same way we got him in there before, we have to do the same thing by voting. And uh, we just have to instill in the younger people that they need to come on out to the polls and vote. They need to help people out. If it's older, elderly people, you know, go by and pick them up. There were some good, but there were also some bad examples of leadership. It's not just about the results. Uh, it also is a, is, is a mark of integrity that our, that our top leader of our country has to show. Um, and all of that matters. All of that matters. And so certainly um, Biden has um, proven himself in the, in the last few years, and I'll be voting for him in the next election. It's going to be a, a, a battle of, of Biden against whoever emerges from the other side, and everything is so extreme on the other side that, you know, I can't see many options besides Biden at this point. It feels over the long memory of watching these institutions operate that we are at a point that isn't like anything that I've watched up until now. And so as this next election gears up, given what we got through the last time, I'm real, 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 real nervous. Like in, in the nerves, the anxiety, it's building all the time. I don't look forward to it because I know that the ideal person that I would like to be in office is not going to be in office. So I'm just going to have to pick the lesser evil. And as of right now, that does seem like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I'm actually disappointed in Joe for a multitude of reasons, uh, simply because I thought he was going to do more uh, beyond just the promises he made. And when they do, quote unquote, listen to the people, they backtrack everything once they get into that position of power. And I feel like Joe is just going to do that. He's going to backtrack, just like other presidents have backtracked. And so, honestly, I feel like right now America is in a state of emergency. We need some real change. And sadly, I would throw my hat in if I was old enough. But if that's not who you want, whose name do you throw in the ring? Who, who, who got next? A politician can say it a thousand times, but because we're not connected to that politician, we're not going to necessarily care. But I bet you if Drake, Nicki Minaj, Sean King, um, just any celebrity that's out there with a voice says it, then we're going to go, okay, okay, I get what you're coming from. So I feel like you just need somebody that's just relatable, somebody that's real, somebody that's true. Personally, I think Stacey Abrams would be a very good candidate or Gavin Newsom. Um, I think that they are able to tap into young voters and they have a lot of innovative ideas. Obviously, the, the best thing is when you have someone that has a good command of policy, but is also very charismatic, quick on their feet. You know, obviously, Barack Obama was real good about that. Reagan certainly had his moments for his thing. That's why his uh, legacy and persists in Republican circles. I would think that the question is, and I'm going to vote Democratic. I am. Um, but I wish that there was another Republican option. Honestly. And why is that? Well, because I'm not strictly Democratic. 